Man posing as a police officer is targeting, following, and pulling over women in the Odessa area. Multiple cases have been reported to police that a Hispanic man with a thick accent pulled them over and tried to get them out of their vehicle. CBS 7's Lauren Landman spoke exclusively with a victim this afternoon. She joins us now in the newsroom with the story. Lauren? There are three confirmed intersections where this is happening. I spoke with one victim to see how she really handled the situation and escaped it all together. Because of the situation of this story, we are choosing to withhold her identity to help keep her safe. On Monday night, the cop impersonator's latest victim was doing some grocery shopping. When she left the store, she caught the eyes of Odessa's suspect. It felt like he was just kind of, uh, like he was kind of watching me or whatever. The woman headed home, taking a couple of unnecessary turns as she realized the man she locked eyes on at the store was indeed following her in a white SUV. But it looked like he put something on the dash and then they, they, they went off the red and blues. The lights are what persuaded her to pull over, thinking maybe he was an undercover cop. And he's like, uh, I need you to roll down the window or get out. And I was like, get out. I was like, I need you to show me a badge or something that shows you're a cop because he was dressed in street clothes. This incident happened near University in Grandview, but that's not the only one. Others reported to police are at 42nd in Grandview, 8th in Grandview, and 10th in Dixie. It appears that he's targeting females that are alone. Police describe the suspect as a Hispanic male wearing plain clothes, talking in a very thick accent, and standing six feet tall. He didn't speak very clear English at all. He was like uh, talking about sex and, uh, you know, it was a very thick, thick, thick Hispanic accent, you know. No, no, no. And I, you know, I rolled up the window really quick and just burned off. In this case, police say the victim did exactly what she was supposed to do. She realized he wasn't a real officer and left the scene. As for the woman, she says she's happy to be alive. And even though she has quite the background of mixed martial arts, she says you can never be too safe when approached by a stranger. I mean, they might call me myths. I might have a huge hands. I might be able to knock somebody out, but I mean, when it comes to, you know, a taser or something, what I do, you know? If you'll remember, it was only at the beginning of this month that the Odessa Police Department arrested a man at the Whataburger on 42nd Street for impersonating a peace officer. He has since been uh, has bonded out of jail, but they cannot say that he is the primary suspect. If you have any information, you are urged to contact Crime Stoppers at 333 TIPS. So, Lord, let me ask you, do Odessa please have any advice for people who might encounter this man? Yeah, they actually do. They say that if you believe that you are being tailed by an impersonator to make sure you drive to a well-lit area and then if they begin approaching your vehicle ask to see a badge and if you still don't feel comfortable you can call 911 and ask if they are making a stop in your area. Jay Tatum.